it may be doubted whether there are many other animals which have played so important a part in the history of the world as these lowly creatures. These are the words by the father of evolution, Charles Darwin, when describing the humble earthworm. Professor Mark Hodgson of University of Reading chairs Darwin's passion for these worms. Over the last few years, the professor has been working with contaminated soils, primarily soils that possess high levels of toxic metals, and he's been looking at ways to clean up these soils. His research has uncovered a species of earthworm that are able to survive in soils with high concentration of toxic metals. The professor hopes to discover why these worms can survive in such inhospitable places. We found out quite a few interesting things about these earthworms. Uh, and we definitely know they're special because if you take some earthworms we've dug up in the garden, like in, in toxicology they're called naive earthworms, which is quite a fun term, these little innocent earthworms, um, and add them to these, these contaminated soils, often the earthworms don't survive. Um, whereas in the actual contaminated soils, there is a, is, a, is, a, is a population of earthworms surviving there. So we know there's something special about the earthworms there. The results of the research indicated that the worms with this used lead mine have evolved a method of extracting lead from the soil and converting it to a safer form. This remarkable adaptation has far-reaching possibilities. We asked the professor what he thinks his research would lead to. If you want to think about possible applications, what you could say um, is that we've got these earthworms now that can tolerate metal contaminated soils. It's conceivable that you could take that population of earthworms, breed those earthworms, so you've got more of them, take them to a site where, because of the random and chance nature of natural selection, there aren't any of these evolved earthworms, and add them to that contaminated soil. And that could have two benefits. One is it could just speed up the process of soil development. Earthworms are very good for that. The other thing you could do is once you've got your earthworms at that site, you could introduce plants, and if the earthworms speed up the uptake of metals by plants, that could be a way of remediating that site. So using plants to remediate soil is a technique called phytoremediation. You grow the plants in your contaminated soil, the plants take up the contaminants, you harvest the plants, and then you do something with the plants. Following this research, work has been done to discover how earthworms have adapted to live in a wide range of toxic environments. These worms may become a vital element in future cleanup of contaminated soils and may even help create a cleaner tomorrow.